my view for a long time is that the, the worst part of this recovery is going to be jobs. I think there are certain industries that will not be rehiring jobs again. And I talked about this in the past, and the similarity between England back in the late 70s, early 80s, losing its shipbuilding, its automotive, its steel industry, um, and its coal industry all at the same time gave a rigidity to the unemployment that never really went away until those people left the labour force entirely. And I think we're going to see the same. I think the labour force participation rate over time is going to fall. That being said, people are still getting stimulus payments. So obviously, a lot of people won't go back to work. So these are noisy numbers, um, and it's complicated. Um, I think stripping out some of that, the perverse incentives to not go back to work, the numbers, I think, over time will not be as good as people expect. And the key to this is the central banks, particularly the Fed, made it absolutely clear that almost their number one mandate right now is employment. That's why the markets, gold, crypto, everything went, OK, this is good. Bonds did nothing because they're like, we can't really make head or tail of this. And we know that nothing is really going to change here. But everybody else thought, well, monetary and fiscal stimulus not going away.